In this video clip, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up the first part of the model rocket using the Autodesk Inventor 3D CAD program. So in order to get started using CAD, which is the Inventor program, we must first locate the CAD icon on the desktop. It's the Autodesk Inventor Professional 2016, like the one that you see right here. You're going to double click on that, and then an Inventor um, program will open, the Inventor program will open, and from here uh, you will get a start menu which would provide you with information on how to start a drawing or a part file. Since I already have this open right here I'm just going to minimize this window and I'm going to go to the Inventor file menu, drop down, and I'm going to create a new file. This new file, I'm going to click New right on here, New, and it's going to give us some options on what we want to set up our new file in either the units of measurement as well as what type of file it's going to be, what type of inventor file. There are part files which are the 3D object files themselves that can later be created into or assembled into an assembly which are IAM files and then part files and IAM files or assembly files can later be placed into drawings, 3 view, orthographic drawings as well as isometric drawings for present presentation mode and there are some other opportunities here as well for uh, pre's IPNs which provide you with uh, the exploded view files or exploded view basically for example with our rocket there's a lot of different parts that are going into it and it, these presentation files would be great for showing the exploded view of what goes into the rocket itself. So I'm going to scroll back up I'm going to select the metric tab that's the metric template click standard millimeter IPT and hit create you'll notice that I have an open window here I can maximize the space if I wanted to using this window area that we see. You'll see the 3D viewing cube and then you'll see these navigation tools right here on the right hand side of the screen. Over on the left hand side of the screen you'll see the model menu. So right now you see the origin and the end of part. What we will later be seeing as we start the sketches and 3D extrusions you will start to see this fill up. For example here is one um, part or model that I was working on before. This is the actual assembly model showing the sketch of just the bottom of the rocket and then you can actually see the 3D view of the um, nose cone there too. So on the left hand side of the screen you see the model menu shows basically acts as our history and we can go back and change any part of the history at any given point which makes this so unique and makes it the parametric modeling program that we desire to use. So let's go back into the part that we started and you see here is our origin X, Y, and Z and it's all located to the or allocated to the front view that we're seeing right here. Let's say we lose the model menu and the navigation bar disappears accidentally. The best way to get bring all of that back is to go to the viewing option on the ribbon, click on view, go to user interface because this is the interface that we're trying to bring back to the original state, click on navigation bar click on browser bar and you're now able to see what the user interface first looked like when we started Inventor. Sometimes people also make the mistake of minimizing the panel buttons at the browser or at the top of the ribbon and an easy way of fixing that is to just click on that arrow the upward arrow until you get the ribbon back. Your preferences may change later on depending on how comfortable you become with Inventor so maybe you want to minimize that so you get the, so you can maximize the amount of space in the drawing or the window that you're working on and that's entirely up to you at that point. Another thing that makes things easier for us uh, when we actually start the model itself is you can see here that I'm in sketch mode you can see I'm in sketch mode but it's going to be very difficult to distinguish between sketch mode and extrusion mode which is the 3D option. So what would make things easier is that if we're working in sketch mode why not have grid lines appear? So grid lines do not appear as a default option with the Inventor program 2016 so you'll need to go and click on the file menu select the options at the bottom of the file drop down select the sketch tab from the applications options and then under display you will see grid lines not activated there's no checkbox there or ch no check mark in the checkbox so we're going to add a check mark then we're going to hit apply nothing changes yet but when we start our first sketch you will notice that there are some there will be some grid lines that appear to help us distinguish the difference between a sketch 
as well as a 3D model feature. All right, so let's get ready and start sketching. So we're going to take the sketch tab, so I'll go back to the sketch tab. I'm going to select and click on the start 2D sketch because essentially what we're going to be doing is creating the uh, physical profile of the first part. So 2D sketch and then select the XY and pl XY plane. These are the work planes uh, that you can create flat sketches on. So I'm going to click on the XY plane and there you see the grid lines that appear on the screen.